the story of what the atom was uh, made up of uh, began with the uh, discovery of the electron, and the electron was discovered through the Thomson cathode ray experiment. And what Thomson did was he made a tube with nothing in it. We call it a vacuum tube. And he put two metal plates in it. And he connected the metal plates to a power source, which makes a voltage difference. And because everything is metal, one side gets to be minus charged then, and one side gets to be plus charged. And when he did that, he discovered that a beam appeared. Now when the beam appears, it just looks as a line. And you can't actually tell if that line is a beam moving left to right or right to left. So what Thomson then did was he put up a second weaker electric uh, pair of plates outside the tube. And that creates a, a, an electric field, a second electric field pointing uh, upwards from the plus plate to the minus plate. And when he did that, he found that the beam changed direction. It started going downward. It deflected. There was a deflection downward. So if it's deflecting downward, that means the acceleration of the particles from the second plates is downwards. Um, uh, fourth electric is Q times E. And if the electric field and, and the acceleration are in opposite directions, we also know that fourth is equal to MA. So if A is pointing down, mass is positive. Force is pointing down, then <clears throat> the Q, uh, since the force electric is downwards and the electric field is uh, number two is upwards, they're in opposite directions, Q has to be negatively charged. Q is negative, and uh, he decided to call that uh, the thing that was negative, the, the particle that was negative, the electron. Thompson wasn't happy with just knowing that he discovered a new particle. He wanted to find out some of its characteristics. And uh, this is how he did it. He knew that deflection was, is proportional to acceleration. If you double the acceleration, you double the deflection. So he, that means they're proportional. And he was able to do this experiment lots of different ways. He was able to make deflections with electric fields, magnetic fields, and so forth. And uh, with physics that I won't describe in this course, he was able to figure out the proportionality constant. So knowing the deflection, which can just be measured with a ruler, he was able to measure the acceleration. And then he plugged it in. Acceleration times mass is fourth, or it can be written as mass fourth electric field, right? Mass times acceleration is force electric, and the electric force is Q times E, remember T, mass. And so this is the situation. Thompson knew the deflection. He therefore, because he did the experiment in many different ways, knew the acceleration. Being a good physicist, he knew what electric field he had made. So having determined the acceleration and the electric field, he was able to determine Q over M. And the value for Q over M he discovered was 1.7 times 10 to the 8 coulombs per gram, which is absolutely a huge number.